so I'm here at the clinic waiting for the doctor and I got my blood drawn. Sure, he's okay. It's usually the ones watching. <laughs> 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 mom, you okay? You're yeah. mom. Yeah. I take it, your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Excellent. This been kind of lengthy today. There's, I think, a couple of pre meds. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start. Oh, yeah. And you get four agents. And uh, the first three go really fast. We can get them in like 15 minutes each or so. Mm -hmm. It's the time that I'm going to take mixing. It takes, it takes some time. But the last one is at least two hours mm -hmm. of infusion. So that takes a little bit longer. What we do now is just put a little dressing in there to cover it. We can use that right now. Just kind of let it sit there. There we go. Okay, excellent. Put some down. If you feel any different when I'm giving you these drugs, just holler at me. Mm -hmm. If you feel flushed, if you feel like your heart is racing, if you feel like you can't breathe, any side effects. We're not expecting that, but it can happen. Mm -hmm. Especially with your first one. Those things were not, you know, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Because you, these things haven't been in your body before, right. so you know, we're just kind of watching for those things. So mm -hmm. you're the best to tell us. Okay. <laughs> There's no F. Well, because that's the saline. Oh, okay. See, he doesn't have to finish it. It's just there to keep it running. Oh, well. How do you feel? <laughs> Fine, I'm just nervous with the whole job thing. <laughs> she videotapes me. I feel great. Glad it's over with. There you go. No. no problem. Everything's fine. Look at that lady. Only in Mexico. <laughs> she walks like she's walking in the park, too. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't have to on. She said take it off in a day, right? The band-aid? Yeah. Okay, so today um, is the sixth day after my first chemo treatment. And it's almost going to be a week. It's going to be a week tomorrow. So I just wanted to kind of just go over what I felt um, these last six days. So the first day, um, everything with the chemo went well. Um, it went by pretty fast. I had like the ABVD and they asked, um, I think it would took around four hours for me to finish the treatment. Um, and then after that, um, I didn't have any severe side effects. Like, I think I felt a little nauseated after, um, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I just took my medication they gave me for that and I was fine. Um, that night, however, I did feel some tingling down my burn, like a burning sensation down my arms, like right here. Um, and I felt like 
a nasty aftertaste in my mouth from the drugs I, I guess, and I'm guessing it's from that. Um, and then the following day I felt fine. Um, it was like I didn't even have chemo at all. So um, the only thing I did have is they give you steroids to take for five days after the first chemo treatment. So the steroids just made me like have shortness of breath. And that's like the only thing that I got. And a little bit nauseated. But it wasn't horrible. Like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up like that. It wasn't that bad. Because the medicine they gave me, the pre-meds and everything just did a pretty good job. So the third day I felt normal. Fourth day also. But the fifth day... I got headaches and um, it was kind of like a tension headache. I had it all going right here. It was pretty tough. It's funny because I thought the further away from the treatment, the better, like, I mean, the better I would have felt. But it wasn't like that. It's actually, I feel worse now. So, what I'm getting now is like body aches. Just my whole body aches all over like uh, I woke up this morning and right here if you just lightly press on my back it hurts it's like a sunburn like if you have a sunburn and you're sore from working out it hurts really bad <laughs> like can't even it hurts I also had I lost my taste for a little bit or like you know, it's slowly going away. That was kind of weird. <laughs> um, but the plus side of things, um, my lymph nodes are, so my lymph nodes significantly went down. Like, I don't know, it didn't make it before anything, but this was all swollen. This was all swollen. So as far as going out to like the store, or to the car, somewhere, um, I put on my, I usually put on my hat and this little cardigan. And I know this has like little holes, but I mean, it's better than nothing. At least some air gets in there because it's super hot outside. The other day it was like 105 degrees. Like I'm not kidding. It's so hot in the desert. Um, and I also got this um, sunscreen slash um, lotion, and it's especially for your face. Um, so I think it works pretty well because um, you can get sunburned easily when you're when you have treatment. So I like it. It you know it smells pretty good too. So. Um, I also noticed my hair is very dull, it lost its shine, so I think I'm going to cut it um, pretty soon here. Um, I've washed it with baby shampoo, but I mean, everything's just dying. <laughs> I mean, I know that sounds horrible, but uh, yeah, I need to cut it because it's shedding, like, not a lot, but you know I actually feel like cutting it because it doesn't so <sighs> yeah um my next chemo is next Monday um on Thursday I'll be getting labs and the chest x-ray so hopefully everything is going well and the cancer is dying because I'm really gonna need I need like a reality check because I thought this was going to be easy and it, uh, it's tough. And I haven't even gone through as much as what other people have gone through so <laughs> we'll see how that goes.